Hello guys, how are you? I am Sunit from IT Mistake. In this video, we will talk about handling errors and fixing them in Excel. There are various ways to handle errors as mentioned in this box. And we are using this range to demonstrate it. In this range, we are using formulas in these columns only. For calculating percentage, we are using total marks and marks. And for calculating percentile, we are using percentage. For grades, we are using percentage and this range. So, uh, so if I delete a value on which a percent on which percentage depend, if I delete a value on which any formula depends, it may result into an error. For example, uh, let me delete this value 600. As you can see, it has resulted into many errors uh, because this cell was dependent on these values. So it uh, it is dividing 547 by 0, resulting into this error divided by 0 error. If I click on if I press F2 function key, it will show me which cells were used in this formula. Another way to check this is use uh, go to formula tab go to formula ribbon and click on trace precedence it will show me which cells are uh, used which cells are being referenced in this formula similarly i can use trace precedence for any other cell having formula as you can see this cell is using the whole range plus this cell. If I click on F2, it will highlight the cells and the ranges and the range that is being used. To remove arrows, I can click on remove arrows. Again, let us click on trace precedence to see which cells are used in this formula. Looking at the cells, I can see that the value is missing. So I can fix the error straight away. This is one way. And if I want to see which cells may result into error if I delete this value, I need to check which cells are dependent on this cell. So for that I will click on trace dependence. So it is pointing to this cell. Similarly if I click on maybe this cell percentage and trace dependence, we can see that all the values are dependent on this cell. because in all the percentile values we are using this complete range press f2 and you will know what is being used here so this is very convenient way of fixing the error another way is let us first generate errors here you can see exclamation sign click on it you can click on show calculation steps and it will show the calculations being done in this cell here we can see that 0 is in italics and 547 divided by 0 is underlined and it is showing that the next evaluation will result in an error so we can judge that this value will return an error and from where these values are coming we know by clicking on trace precedence so again we can fix the error let us click on evaluate and see the error to show the result of the underlined expression click, here, click evaluate the most recent result appears italicized so this is italicized if I click on evaluate again the whole like underlined expression will be evaluated and it will again result into an error so this way I can come to know what is causing the error as you can see that if I click on this drop down the options are different here and if I click on the cell that is again dependent on this cell the options will be different 
here I have shown these two options first level of dependency means that this cell is dependent on these two cells which further depend on nothing on no other cell on the other hand this cell depends on this cell and this cell further depends on this cell so there are two level of dependencies so the options also change according to the level of dependency so in if we have the first level of dependency we will see these options we can click on show calculation steps and see the error as it occurs and on the second or further level of dependencies we can click on trace error let us do it trace error it will show the arrows this cell is dependent on this which is further dependent on these two cells so we know which cells are resulting into this value or error and fix the cells accordingly another way is to use F9 function key to evaluate the formula or part of the formula for example let us edit it and select this part we know that this part may result into an error because these are references as soon as I click on F9 sorry as soon as I press F9 it will evaluate the selected expression and we know that here is the error this is a small formula in case of large formulas this is really helpful we can select part of a big formula and evaluate only that part to see if it results into an error or not and pinpoint the error and to check error in to check all the errors in the current sheet we can also click on error checking in the formulas ribbon it will automatically detect errors and highlight the cells one by one now again we have uh, the trace error and ignore error options we can also edit the formula in formula bar the cursor is here now we can edit it and fix it if we don't want to fix it press escape key and again click on error checking we can trace the error and see which cells are involved now ignore the error as soon as I click on ignore the error the green arrow disappears now here we have a green arrow here let me click on ignore error to see it disappearing again trace the error ignore it trace it okay if I don't want to take any action I simply click on next next to see the errors in the sheet the error check is complete for the entire sheet okay another way is to use error handling functions like if error or is error for example here I'm going to use if error as the name imp as the name tells that the function will take appropriate action if there is an error if error it takes two parameters that is value value can be this formula and value if error so here we can either write something uh, write any text or do any calculation or I can do anything for example I can simply put 0 so or maybe show appropriate message that tells the user where is the error like invalid marks it straight away tells the user that the marks are marks are not valid we can use it here as well if error if this whole expression results in error what to do again I sorry again I want to display the message invalid percentage because this is dependent on percentage 
it tells the user that percentage is percentage is incorrect similarly we can handle it as well we can do anything here for example uh, I can do some calculation as well but which is not appropriate for this cell So we have handled the error. Error is still there but it has been handled appropriately. If the error is not there it will show the results. If there is an error it will display the appropriate message which is a very good idea to avoid errors in first place. So these are the various ways in which we can trace the errors and fix them in Excel. I hope you liked it and found it very useful. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.